Yo, 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 what's good? It's your boy Sid, back at it again with another video. In this video, in this video right here, we're going to be discussing WWDC 2021, man. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sid, it's your boy Sid, obviously. Yo, thank you for tuning in. We're going to hop into a few key notes that has a lot to do with this WWDC, man. Because honestly, I'm excited for what's about to come with iOS 15, and I hope you are too. Every Everybody was really hyped because they thought, Yo, where's the, where's the, where's the, where's the MacBook, man? Ain't no new MacBook. If you're tuning in to the channel to see if it's a new MacBook, I'm sorry to burst your bubble. There's no new MacBook. But we got a lot of exciting software coming up. I'm really excited about it. I hope you're excited about it. Let's go ahead and just hop straight into it. Yo, real fast though, real fast. Before we hop into it, let's just go ahead and do a moment of silence for the like button real fast. Just a moment of silence for the like button. All right, moment up, man. We ain't, we ain't gonna go too long, because my last video we just going a little bit too long, man. We going a little bit too long. Yo, but we just gonna go ahead and hop straight into this WWDC 2021, man. I'm super excited about it. I got my laptop right here. I got some notes written down. This video, this keynote, it was an hour and 50 minutes and 40 seconds. So I'm gonna try to make this video as short as possible, short and sweet, get to the key points for you guys, because um, I know you guys don't want to sit here and watch a two-hour video of me just talking, because I'm not gonna have all those cool tricks they had them going in. Apple has set the bar so high for these keynotes, man. So it starts off by Tim walking into a crowd of Memojis. So the keynotes that I really just want to touch on is iOS 15. iOS 15 is going to be so game changer, bro. Like the stuff that I saw on iOS 15, I don't even know if people are doing them already because I know people always say, oh man, Samsung been doing that. You from oh Galaxy been doing that. They say these other companies been doing them. But I want to know that because I don't have an Android. I don't have a Samsung phone and Galaxy. I don't have any of that. I only have Apple. So when Apple come out with something new, I'm like, oh, whoa, I'm going crazy. So when you make a FaceTime call in a group or with your friends, the sound actually positions to where that person is speaking. So let's say you're on FaceTime with three or more people, the sound is actually coming from whatever direction that that person is at, which makes it seem like you guys are in the same room. And it's also better quality from the FaceTime call. If you have an iPhone, you know how FaceTime is. So this feature offers a transparent mode to where you can actually block out the background noise and bring out the sound of your voice more clear. So it actually sounds like you guys are both in the same room and it sounds more natural. The quality of the sound just doesn't sound correct. It just doesn't sound clear. It sounds like you're talking through a robot to another person person so now it sounds clear it cleared that up it looks good man another feature that i found really 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 cool is they actually have portrait mode for facetime so now you could blur out that background and speak on facetime it makes it more professional especially if you're trying to set up a facetime group call for like a meeting i think apple's trying to replace zoom with facetime i think apple wants us to use facetime for our conference call instead of zoom but i don't i don't think you can call that many people on facetime like you can on zoom that'd just be insane more for like meetings or setting up meetings you can actually schedule a facetime FaceTime call just like zoom it's a notification that'll pop up and say yo you have a FaceTime call with this person it's kind of like in your reminders and also you don't have to have an iPhone to use the FaceTime call your friends with Android phones can actually use the FaceTime call that's pretty cool so another feature that that really sparked my interest is SharePlay SharePlay allows you to share either your music you can share your movies your TV shows all of that while you're on FaceTime which is pretty dope let's say you're on FaceTime with a friend and you guys want to watch the same show or the same movie you guys can share play that you can also text you could do whatever you want to do on your phone all while watching the tv show and still being connected not only are you still connected but it's in real time it's in real time bro no lags bro i mean i'm guessing that all depends on your service and how good your wi-fi is but that's in real time bro like that's dope man i ain't even gonna lie bro so let's say you're watching a movie with your friend you could also share that same content to your tv to your apple tv so that's pretty cool as well not only are you streaming your favorite show or your movie on your on netflix with your friend on facetime or friends on facetime you can also put that on your tv you can stream the show at the same time in real time and if you guys don't want to interrupt the show by talking through the phone you can also go in your text and text the person while everything is still happening in real time 
which is pretty cool. I run into this problem a lot when I'm on the phone with my grandma and she doesn't know how to do something with her phone. She can actually share her screen with me or I can share my screen with her and I can show her exactly what I'm doing while I'm on FaceTime with her and she can see what I'm doing so that way she can know how to do it once we get off the phone or while we're on the phone. That way she can have a visual of what I'm actually doing. Screen sharing is actually dope. Let's say you have a future roommate. You can actually share your screen so y'all can be looking at the same apartments. That's pretty dope right there, man. All right, so one thing that I found that was really, really, really awesome. So Craig took a picture of a whiteboard and he literally copied the notes that were on the whiteboard and he dragged them over into a email and sent them off, which is really cool. He also took a picture or he actually zoomed in to a picture that his friend sent them and he copied the number, turned it to a link and he called that number. So it actually recognizes text. So you could copy it, you can send it, or you can use it and put it in your own notes. So if your friend sends you a photo and they have a name of a restaurant in the background, you can actually copy that text, hit the look up button, and it'll actually take you to Safari. So that way you can see what the place is or it can actually map you to it, which is actually pretty cool. That's dope. That is transcendent, man. That is setting boundaries, man. That is breaking boundaries, I mean. Yo, that is dope. All right, so next, I really wanna go ahead and hop into the keynote of the wallet app. They did really did a lot in this wallet app because they really wanna replace your wallet. They don't want you to carry no wallet. They don't want you to carry a wallet at all to the point to where not only do they have your credit card in the wallet app, you can also put your transit card in the wallet app, which means you can get through any cities transit-wise in your wallet app. You don't even have to have a card. You just have it in your wallet app. Disney just integrated their card into the wallet app so that way you don't even need the disney card i don't even know what that is I, I don't even know what kind of card that is but it's a disney card i guess you don't even need that in the wallet app you can also put your id your license in the wallet app where they do that at I know, I know, I know. Am I really gonna take a picture of my ID? It's all encrypted, which is really good. So that way your privacy is always protected. And you know app, you know app, you know Apple. You know they really care about privacy. They're big on that. You know that. Not only can you put your ID in the wallet app, you can put your car keys in your house keys in the wallet app so as i was watching this video i was saying okay they want to replace the wallet and they want to replace your keys but they want to replace your keys by adding your house keys to the wallet app but i still need my car keys bmw i guess they have a car they just released and they will be integrating i believe they talked about this last year in the other wwdc so they will be integrating with car keys which they're approving with ultra wideband support you don't even need your wallet or your keys no more bro all you need is your phone don't lose your phone so they're also adding your work badge wherever you work if you work in some fancy corporate office or something you can also add your work badge to your apple wallet you can add your hotel key to your apple wallet as well later this year only going to be with certain companies and then they're going to be expanding throughout more companies i'm gonna leave this link for the video in the description below so that way you can see which companies there is another thing is with the apple maps i don't know about you guys but i am somebody that's really big on apple maps i can only use apple maps i don't know why i'm just accustomed to apple maps and i don't want to change i'm hard-headed i'm just that apple dude i don't know they're not adding more quality into the world map but they're adding more quality into the city map to where now it actually gives you direction when you're on foot you can actually put your camera up and you can scan the area and it will actually give you directions to tell you where to go when you're looking for something if you're lost which is pretty cool for me i was in new york a few weeks ago i was lost and i was trying to get somewhere i got off the train i was trying to get to town square and i was lost so i had to actually look for it to get there the apple maps works really well especially when you're on foot for the walking direction so just to have that integrated into that is pretty cool we already know that apple's really big on health so they do a lot of things with their watch through the health with their phone and all of that good stuff so where it's tracking your steps it's actually pretty cool because now you can actually share your information directly with your doctor while it's being protected so you don't have to worry about sending information about your medical to your doctor and it's getting interrupted or intercepted by a third party and now your information is out there so nobody can see this information except for the people that you share it with and you that's it apple can't even see this information which is pretty cool because let's say something's going on with my grandmother but she has no 
no way of telling me. As we're sharing our health profile, I can see that her balance or her steps or her heart rate has been off and I can check on her for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about one more thing before I end this video and that's the transition from your iPad to your MacBook to your iMac. So Apple has this thing called universal control, which is pretty cool because now you can actually use all of your devices with one keyboard, which means you can transition from your iPad to your MacBook to your iMac with one keyboard. So that's WWDC 2021 from Apple. Yo, I am super excited. I'm ready for iOS 15 and need to hurry up. They should have dropped it today. They should never gave us these spoilers. Drop it today, drop it today, drop it today. I'm excited, man. I'm really excited. I really want to say thank you guys for tuning into this video. The link for the WWDC 2021 is going to be in the description below. Make sure you go ahead and like this video. Comment on this video if you have any questions. Make sure you also subscribe to the channel. Please help the channel out. I really appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. I love you. You already know what it is. It's your boy Sid. I will catch you guys in the next video. I really appreciate all the love and support. Thank you so much. Peace.